See these kids, right? The whole length of Central Avenue. They were right in the center. They would not move. They would not move at all. Those three kids, right in the center of the road. I don't know if you caught it in time. Unbelievable. Today's youth. Today's youth raised by younger generation parents. I wish I would have took the video from the very beginning of the street, of the main road. It's incredible. They would not budge from the center of the road. I am on my way to meet up with and have coffee with commercial voiceover specialist William H. Morrow III. It is a hot Tuesday afternoon. Greetings, this is James P. Madonna of Progressive Discussions and Mega Life 21. Enjoying some Genesee Cream Ale. Okay, a 140 year old brewery. Excellent, $4.49 for a six pack only. Probably the very best bargain, bang for the buck, high quality in the uh, beer industry. I consider these products craft beer because I've looked at their website. Excellent, very fascinating products. Yes, they are craft beer in my opinion. You beer snobs that disagree, well, to hell with you. But the point I want to make about those three kids, those three young lads on bicycles riding the center of Central Avenue is that I must have been blowing my horn over five minutes straight and they were ignoring my car horn. They would not pull over. That's the point I wanted to make that I should have earlier. And now I will join William H. Morrow III for coffee commercial voiceover specialist and former second string NFL quarterback. Probably the strongest arm in the business. Strongest throwing arm. Along with my trusty copper divining rods for a little mysticism. Right. Oh. Oh, you see how, how she was like going off on a tangent? Something's wrong with that. It's broken. That's it's a cheap four dollars. It's four dollars. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. That was that was the month. Uh, I the, told you when I got home, I asked my amulet, verified everything. That was uh, I call that maniacal Monday madness. Sonic. That was literally man mania. Like like when somebody's like um, has an obsession and they go on and on. I wonder on. what really happened to her nose and her eye. Well, I don't know if, if we're getting the truth even. We don't even know if her story is true. Oh, I know. I can't believe the things she says. I would have been here earlier, except for the fact that three young boys on bicycles refused. They were riding the center of Central Avenue. It took me five minutes of horn honking to get them to actually pull over and let me go by. They, they're, they were, and then they gave me the finger when I made my turn. It's like, hey man, you're not supposed to ride the center your of a major. Your buddy's back there. Yeah, he he's in the same spot he was last time. He's way back there. I like when the kids are all back there making a lot of noise. That disturbs me. Oh, he's putting a. What the hell is he putting a winter coat on? He's got a hood. What is he? Chi oh, he, what is he? Chilly. I should have brought whiskey, but I... I, I, I brought those and not your uh, anger. Because I was a little shooken up by when I broke it. Uh, but I asked them, are you upset that Jimmy accidentally dropped you? And they said no. Because it was, it was, there was less space to, for the core to hang on to it. No, I moved it over. All right. Divining rods. You're too close. Divining rods. They always say be a yard away. I mean, a foot yeah. away. Oh, oh. A foot away. That long? That's what the instructions say on mine. All right, let's, as long as it, well, I read it has to be down a little for gravity. Divining rods. Is Joseph, uh, um, the Asian gentleman, the scientist, is he, does he have psychological issues like Eileen? Oh, 
probably needs to warm up. Once it warms up, it really needs to warm up. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, it's warm. I'll consider that. I'll consider, yes. I'll consider that a definite yes. Try it with your hands stabilized. Yeah, but I I feel the hand feel is comfortable when I do this. Yeah, but you don't influence in any way. That's why if you stabilize, you can't. That's okay. Your true answer. All right, hold on. Just to see what it is. Hold on. Oh, you might have to cut like a half inch off your straws. No, I know. All right. Davini. Davini. Danny DeVito, right. <clears throat> Divining rods. What would you like me to ask? Any uh, football, que so football like question? Yeah, like I always ask mine. The football and baseball. My friend Billy. Has there ever been an arm like this in football or baseball? In football or baseball, has there ever been a throwing arm like William H. Morrow? You know, I have a feeling, I have a feeling it's going to, yeah, you're right, thank you. Yeah, no, yeah, you, yeah. has there, let me try it again. <clears throat> In football and baseball. In fo football and baseball, has there ever been a throwing arm like, like, like William H. Morrow, the third? No, just say Billy Morrow. Yeah. But I know what it's going up. It's going, it's saying, yeah, it's going towards no. I know once it warms up, it goes faster. No, it shouldn't have to warm up. I ask it. Well, there you go. No, 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 yeah, look at that. I try, I, do you need to warm up ever? Do you, hold on, do you need to warm up ever? No, probably, like probably a yes is a yes and a no is a no. Saying no, it's going towards the outside. No, there you go. Jimmy. I, I like when it goes. I like when it whips. Like when it goes there like. You go. No, it does not need to warm. That's why I said it doesn't need to warm. It does. No, the answer is no. It does not need to warm. Thank you, though. Be polite. Thank you, divining rods, for your divine wisdom. Just say thank you. Don't don't overkill. You know what I mean. Embellish. Yeah, don't go crazy. Say okay. thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, getting back to our, getting back to the maniacal Monday madness is, is, does Eileen know what she's doing when she changes her story? Or in other words, is it deliberate? Or is she a chronic liar? Is she, yes, is she a chronic pathological liar? Maybe she's just stock raving nuts. Believes what she's saying. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's saying no. Divining rods. Are oh, Eileen's stories true? Are Eileen's stories, in in general, true? <laughs> Oh man. No. How about that? That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do here, is narrow it down. Something along the line of, look at that, no. Holy mackerel. So is she imagining things? Look at this. See, that's different. See, Jimmy, that's different than lying. You have imagination, and it's wrong, but you believe it's going to be oh, true. Oh, it's, it's like if a child has an imaginary but friend. It's not true, but or sk yeah, schizophrenia. Yeah, that's what that, so that's why I was trying to you know, yeah. narrow it down. Now, um, here, hey, here's a question. Divining rods. I know you. Oh, I don't know. All right, all right. Um, when Donald Trump was attacking late night talk show comedians like Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel, is he? Is that a sign of his mental instability? Which he did recently. No, 
so it's probably a malicious. Is Donald Trump mentally unstable? Oh, okay, there you go. Is Donald Trump mentally unstable? As opposed to being deliberately wicked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I whisper. Like Alan Ludden used to say, the password is. You would have been better at saying the password is, but you know, it's the facility. Oh, look at it. No. No, so he's. I guess he's. He's. Ah. So what. So does this mean Donald Trump is very deliberate? In what he says, there's a method to it. Mm. Mm. Little buggers calculating. Wow. Yes. He's cal He's calculating. He knows what he's doing. Holy crap! Look at that. Woo! He's ca he's ca he's calculating. I could feel some kind of tingling energy now. Now that's really. Um, so, is his ego really that fragile that he has to attack every, anyone who criticizes him or make or makes a joke? Damn. It's okay for one just to do it? Well, it's it, it came together. I mean, it, I don't know why. I don't... You know what? It's a mystery of that's a mystery of the divining rods. I as long as it comes together. Yeah, that's why I like the ambulance because it gives you right yes or no. Yeah, swing. I know. It's bang right in. I know. It, it's just that you know, I I read so much about divining dowsing and divining yeah. rods and I just like to have it. Yeah, yeah I like to have it. You know, because um, those the, the, this is what those guys do. They satire. They're comedians. He shouldn't really take a, such offense to it. No, they rub this hair. Come on, Father. Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel. I don't know what Jimmy Kimmel did. No, he went off on CNN. They, they were doing a whole thing. Trump is going going off on every one of them. No, yeah. I, the only one I saw was Fallon. No, they did another another one. Wolf Blitzer. Wolf Blitzer. No, no he's a journalist on CNN. No, he showed Trump talking about on, in one of his rallies about all the late night comedians. No, the only one he mentioned was Jimmy Fallon, though. Well, now and now he's off on Kimmel too. For what? I guess he doesn't like people joking about him. But Kimmel well, didn't say anything about him. Well, they all, well, they all do, but not, and this whole thing is yeah, about the well, hair thing. I don't, who, I don't get. Who really doesn't say anything about I mean, it's Donald just Trump? Your hair, stop it. It's like. Um, yeah, he was justifying um, something about him, immigration, but I don't know. Now he's got the travel ban. Anyway. Is, is our friend Tiny, his real name is Anthony DeStefano, has he passed away? Well, you have to ask him. You're holding Oh. Is Anthony A. DeStefano, otherwise known as Tiny, our friend, our friend is he deceased? Has he passed away? Has he passed away? I'm saying yes. Jimmy the other day had said no. Remember? Remember? And so my, my landlord is right. Who was used to be the mayor of Saddlebrook, my landlord. So he said no the other day. Ask it again. Are you sure? Are you positive that our friend Tiny, Anthony A. DiStefano, is dead, has, is dead, has died. Yeah, but you can't find anything on the website about this. No? Yeah, well, obituary. Yes. Uh, yeah, Mr. Joseph there, man, he don't, he doesn't even, he's not even acknowledging 
Maybe because we're too direct and honest with him. Well, I don't, don't want to come. I told him about whiskers and can't you shave better and the whole bit. He don't want. He don't want to hear the truth. Let me drink some coffee. Oh my God! Excuse me, sir. Oh, oh, oh there you go. Thank you. Oh, oh my God! I, I couldn't. I couldn't get over how those kids just won't get out of the center of the road. He can't even shave right. Some presentation. What's he wearing his vest? He got his hood up. He's all bundled up like like he's uh, ready for the expedition to the Arctic Circle. And he would have shit this morning. Unbelievable. God, he's an odd one. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's, um, dude, this beer snob was um, mocking me out because I was a talking. Who? A, who? a beer snob. Well, there's. Every every field has their snobs. You mean an expert, right? Like a wine, a know a know it all, right? Aficionado knows everything. Aficionado knows everything, and uh, he happened to be a fan of the the, the local brewery we have in uh, Little Ferry, New Jersey. Let me interrupt you though. The bottom line is none of you are right. It comes out of everybody's individual you, you, taste. Do you know how many so-called gurus? Where I prove wrong. You might say it's the best in the world. I might say this sucks. No, they, there have been gurus that knew so much about how to take care of a certain pet. They were wrong, but they insisted that they were right. But they were wrong because you know why? A zoologist and expert. Well, we're talking about that's different though, animals. What we're talking about taste comes out of individual. Right. You might think it's the best yeah. in the world. Well, I well what I said was so, I. Let me I, interrupt you real quick. Yes, sir. I've had some of the best, not the best, but very, very expensive. The worst wines I've ever had are the expensive ones. The cheapest one are like the Carlo Rossi Rosé, sweet and it's good. And everybody says you're exactly this Paisan, right. There's Paisano. There's yeah, all a ten dollar bottle where you unscrew the cap or whatever. And, and Crabari too. I had some friends buy me the, the over a hundred dollar bottle with the dust on it, so it looks fancy. And it's sour as shit. Well, well look around. The teeth. <laughs> oh, yeah, the chatter. Yeah, the, uh, I said, make your point. Yes. Like, like and, and they all do it now. They all go. Ken's magic shop. Yeah. Oh, my God. So what, what, I was, what I was trying to say was same thing with restaurant critics in the shop or oh, newspaper. Oh, I know. Oh, four stars. Five. Oh, yeah. Maybe they paid you off to get five stars. Uh, they filled some paper space, too. <laughs> And, said, and, you know, and, and, point. and restaurant He's critics, yeah, I know, make your point and, and, and I went to the, I went to places before locally that had five stars and guess what? It sucked. Oh, I know. It's like movies, it's the your, movie, it's your taste. two thumbs down, the movie, well, the worst two thumbs movies down. I ever saw and I watched only 10 minutes of good and take it and everybody raved about it. It was home alone. I said, this is effing well, look, look at some of these, talk about boring. Look at Broadway plays. Oh. Oh. Do I want to see men in, in tights and spandex, like, oh. like prancing around, acting like a hoo 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 What do you call them? Metrosexuals, they call them like? It, I don't even know what that means. Metro transgender. That's an ultra. What, I don't know what this stuff is anymore. It's an ultra, um, uh, an ultra sensitive. Dude, oh, I don't care what they are. Just do what you want. And and this and and this uh, um, college in northern New Jersey is surprised that a woman was harassed in in an all gender restroom. Or what did you expect to happen in an all gender restroom? I don't even know what you mean by that. All gender means men and women and and, and trans transsexuals can share the same restroom. Well, what's your, oh, restroom and kids or? restroom. Oh, I don't. Do what you want. I mean, I'm in the bathroom. If a girl walks in and wants to stand there next to me, go ahead. I don't care. I'm so sick of us all being so damn sensitive. And that, and that, therein lies the problem. You know, everybody's walking on eggshells today. Yeah, I'm not. Just stand there, watch. I don't care what you do. You know, I'm tired of. I, you know, I, I never, I never did. I never will. I'm sick of you all talking. And, about and why does Roseanne Barr have to call? The people that got offended, she, they're they're pressuring her to make telephone calls to everyone what that they, got what offended. What under her is wrong. I have never liked her. I've always, from day one, 20, 30 years ago, thought she's an absolute asshole and jerk. But you know, I'm very fair. What she did was stupid. It was the big mouth. 
it was wrong. She doesn't deserve to be fired for this. No, I agree with Everybody, you. Everybody, fire. Let's fire. Hi. What, what are, Why'd you say it that way? Fire him. Oh, no. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You know where they got the fire from? You want to fire people over every little day. Donald Trump was in. Celebrity Apprentice. Oh, it was before him, no. Remember when he put down Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, saying his ratings yeah, have plummeted? Yeah. I'm so sick of this. What she did is stupid, but you gotta be fair yeah. is fair. The old saying from one of our four forefathers, I may not agree with what you say, but I will die defending your right to say it. Right. I don't want you fired because I don't agree with it. Oh, Jimmy, it was stupid. Fire him, okay? No. I wish I'd interview me as Johnny on the street, said two words I'd be fired. Said, no. For what? She made a stupid comment. That's all. That's all. You tried to crucify Paula Dean years ago for saying nigger 20 years earlier. What's wrong with you people? You're so goddamn thin-skinned and walking on eggshells. People can't say boo anymore. I don't care if you walk up to me and say you're an asshole or, or, or what the blacks call us, woodpeckers or something, or pecker, pecker heads or woods or whatever. I don't care. Yeah, Paula Dean, they, her show is terminated right away. I don't care what you call it. Are you that sensitive? No. So I don't care. God, every time somebody says boo, it's fire them, revenge, get them, destroy, drag them down. That's our problem. The people we so ought to just say, look, from now on, everybody, then it, then it was the Jews years ago when, when Christmas decorations in the airports only had Merry Christmas, blah, blah, blah. They, they bitched for a menorah and blah, blah, blah. Then they got the menorah. And then this. Then you couldn't sing whatever the Pledge of Allegiance is. Ed Sullivan was a real pain in the yeah, ass. It was his opinion or none. You know, he couldn't. Uh, 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 Jim Morrison had to change a couple lyrics. No, 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 that's what got to me. Higher? That pissed me off. He, he wasn't allowed to say, I want to take you higher, and he did anyway. And then his, his henchman on the, off the camera said, you'll never be on the Ed Sullivan show. And he, Morrison said, we just were. We just were. <laughs> a few days later, Sly and the family stonewall and saying, I want to take you higher, higher. Well, isn't that hypocritical? Critical? Yes, it is hypocritical. The doors can't say higher, but you let Slam the Family Stone say higher for a lot longer time period. No one that Jack, so what's your point? The one that Jackie Mason was mocking Ed Sullivan with it, like, hey, what do you mean, shoe? He was doing his. Sullivan is, was not a smart guy. He was just a mean guy. Well, they gave power well, to him. He, was, a, he was an extreme right wing Catholic, Roman Catholic. Yeah, I guess. Irish Catholic. This way or no way. So yeah. He was a moron in my book. J Jim. J yeah, a really big shoe. Yeah, that's all he was. You know. You know. <laughs> Beatles. It wasn't Beatles. It was the Beatles. Beatles. Topo G. Topo G. Topo G. Uh, so what if he, he says hi? Listen, I don't the, like that. The, the Doors, all they needed was one appearance on his show. They, they didn't really care after that. They, you know, like once you've made that stupid show back then, once you've, once you've uh, appeared on it, that's really all you needed. Yeah, but still, they yeah. hypocrisy. You know, Vern, as a teenager, was at he that, where the, the Beatles, Beatles or something? Yeah, yeah, she says yeah. it was, she said the sound was so deafening, you couldn't hear the, be the Beatles sing. Well, the Beatles even said they couldn't hear themselves. No, that's true. So, that happens uh, to be true. Especially Shea Stadium. Yeah, no, but but on the Ed Sullivan show, it was just deafening the, with the with the teenage girls screaming. What he was saying. Doors can't say higher, but Sly can. Oh, and Jackie Mason was doing uh, hand signals uh, while he was talking. Uh, uh, I've heard stories that he gave and fell off stage the finger. I've also heard because he said these two spots is which is in Jewish New Year. You know, it's Schwarz, yeah. So what? Oh, he said, oh no, when David Dinkins was mayor of New York, he said, um, he said David Dinkins was a, was a Schwarzer with a good suit and tie. But, think, but he's a comedian. Eh. So what? So what? There goes back to what you were saying about people walking on eggshells. Don't say this. Don't say this. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, and, this, and, and, and the problem with censorship, it can, it can easily turn into fascism. When you think about it. What's next? Book burning like Hitler? When I start having a book burning in the streets, oh, too? The, the Catholic Church had the Inquisition. They used to put... They used sure. to put 
50 million people died at the hands well, of, then, by the, same token, of the Catholic Church. I, I am not destroying like the Confederacy never occurred. Taking statues down, the Confederate flag down. So what is Stonewall Jackson? The Confederate statue? flag and statues are not about, the flag is not about racism. It's about Southern pride. They misinterpreted it to mean racism. Being from the South, I know it means Southern pride. But so what if there's, there's a statue of Robert E. Lee and Stonewall Jackson? My so high school, what? You know what my high school in Texas was? What? Robert E. Lee High. So, what, somebody got to change the name now too. There was even a, a was a steamboat, a famous steamboat called the Robert oh, E. Lee. Jimmy, there's all kinds of Robert E. Lee and other guys too. I mean, really. Uh, they did a they did um Ghost Adventures appeared at in Savannah, Georgia. You know, the, it's the historic monuments and historic but landmarks. Like Savannah. This is history. You don't try to erase history. You don't bury your head in the sand like an ostrich and pretend, yeah. pretend it never happened. It happened. It's a part of our history. Both histories. You had two countries here. Well, the Confederacy and the Union. Well, people have this to, is, you know. It's education now. People have to learn from that. Oh, they're afraid to teach that. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that's a dark period in our, in our, uh, You know what the saddest thing? Well, you yank statues down. What's that? Yes. Did Germany do that? Yes. Well, I think they did. Well, uh, um, ext Muslim extremists also tear my, uh, uh, ruins That's down. Down. Look how ISIS, ISIS, all the, all the ancient. In, in Syria, they all oh, not other countries too. They just destroy. You, you saw them wrap explode. They just destroy. It was thousands. History. These are ruins that are thousands of years old. Oh. Hands off. Right? I was, you know, a great leader would have yeah. said, don't touch the monuments, leave them alone. Across the street from the Saddlebrook Diner, there was an old building that looked like it was back, goes back to the 1700s, literally. There's there's a couple in Maywood, New Jersey. They tore, When they tore that down to put in apartment buildings, I felt so sad. That's a, well, that's. I look, I'm an Oriole fan too. That's a historic monument. I'm an Oriole fan. But I believe in tradition and history. You should never touch Yankee Stadium. They'll never touch Fenway Park. They'll and Wrigley Field. Wrigley Field. And I'm an Oriole fan. But let's fair is fair, honest is honest. This is a big part of tradition, the birth and, and existence of Major League Baseball. Yeah. So well, you don't Memorial touch. Stadium wasn't really that old, but you know, well, no, I know what you mean, though. No, but not Memorial Baltimore. No, but those three are iconic yeah. stadiums. Fenway, Wrigley. You never touched. Hey, Yankee stadium. look at Comiskey Park in Chicago. That that was a very old stadium. Yeah, it was up there too. Yeah. You know, Comiskey yeah. Park. But the only problem it was in a bad part of Chicago. <laughs> I think it was in South the South Side. I don't know how many good parts of Chicago there are. Anymore. You know what I, I I heard by someone who who um, went to Pittsburgh and Detroit and but even Memphis Tennessee they said they are so lacking of funds that they are deteriorating American cities. They're 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 deteriorating. The slum areas are, are getting bigger and bigger. More and more, yeah. more and more buildings build it up. Yeah. And we'll look at look at uh, well, then, I, then they got our infrastructure. Inf I mean, there you go. Most ninety plus I think percent of bridges are if you they said if you saw underneath we should most people can't stop and go down and look. If you saw what's under the, the rust, you shit and panic. That I remember that bridge seven, eight years ago, the collapse in Minnesota, that big bridge, remember? So don't think that, don't ever say this can't happen. Did I ever tell you the story about Josh Gottheimer, uh, um, a New Jersey um, senator from, not senator, New Jersey congressman from Bergen County? Yeah, the guy that's running now. Yeah, he, he, he sends these um, requests to get people to join his telephone town hall meetings. I, I agreed to one of them. I mentioned American uh, public transportation being so archaic with Amtrak and there's no light, we need light rails, blah, blah, blah. You know, he cut me off and said, you have any other question? He don't want to talk about our transportation system. So that wasn't important for Josh Gottheimer. He don't want, he don't want to hear, he don't want to discuss it. I says, you realize how archaic Amtrak is? And the fact we need light rails because there's too much traffic, too much well, pollution. Look how late they are putting in this automatic braking or warning system. It still hasn't been brought into effect. Yeah, yet. totally blew me off. And and it's like you know. And what about uh, the cost of New Jersey auto insurance? What if people can't afford to have their own car well, in the state of New Jersey? New Jersey, the nation, the number one state in the mass exodus of population. 
people can't afford to live here anymore, so they're grouping down south and out west. Absolutely. And, I mean, Jersey, and that's, that's losing a lot of your tax base. Well, hot shot, you want to tell me what you oh, always probably hang up on you. Yeah. You know? I mean, like. We are number one for people moving, leaving. Now, they were supposed to build a prototype of light rails in Alexandria, Virginia, which is a suburb of Washington, I guess. Yeah. And they ne it never happened. I know. And I was supposed to, that wasn't that big a deal anyway. It wasn't only a short route up the East Coast partially. Yeah, but it was the like prototype. Like to Virginia or something. It, was, it wasn't a long thing like coast to coast. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, that's what you need. You need, you need the, uh, what, the only one seeming to want to do something well, he's... He, He's doing the same thing with the slight tunnel thing as Elon Musk. But I, don't yeah. know, uh, I hear I hear Phil Murphy is really kicking ass doing doing a lot of things. I haven't heard a lot, but I hope he is. Well, I saw a commercial of what he's. I haven't heard bad. But no, I hope no. he is doing more than what we've had. But you notice there's no like controversy on like there was with Chris Christie. There's no like there's no dirt. Bring back Florio. <laughs> Remember Florio? Bob, the late Bob Grant used to call him Flim Flam Florio. Oh, he was awful. Florio and uh, Tom Kane's uh, commercials. Perfect. New Jersey. Yeah, the accent. Perfect. Together. Perfect. Together. The other one. Uh, McGreevy came on and announced he's gay with his. But you know what? He was a, he he was a good Democratic governor. Jim McGreevy. I guess he's okay. Well, he became a, a pastor. I heard. Is that what he's doing now? Yeah, he's a minister. I heard. He has found the Lord. You know what? We should start a, a cult and see how many suckers send us donations. Oh, we get some. We, we get them. We we can do any. We can we can do like they do in um, uh, the Bohemian Grove. They have a big owl statue, uh, a, a pagan owl or something. Oh, a statue of you, man god. Yeah. <laughs> We'd be rolling in money. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of super tech statue. Uh, these people are fucked up. They really are. I think. I think. I think. Super tech. The the whole concept and mentality and way of thinking mindset. should should the mindset should should live on. We you don't we don't need tangible anything tangible in front of us because the ideals. Well, I sure got fucked with part here, though. Oh my God! The ideals were so great. The ideals. Now, with the right partner. See, I told my brother Scott. Instead of you busting your ass with a bunch with people that smoke joints during their lunch hour and come back to work, you need a carbon copy of yourself. You need to find an assist, an, a, a general manager to help run your place. They've got to perfect clothing. But they got to be like you. Then I'd be dating myself. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld said, "I don't want." I, I broke up with the girl because she's just like me. I don't. I don't even like myself. She goes. I don't. I don't want to date myself. Said, said, don't like masturbation. We share sex with somebody you love. And Gilbert Godfrey was with yeah. the Pee Wee Herman joke. Yeah. Oh. yeah. If what Pee Wee did was wrong, I should be on death row. <laughs> <laughs> if what Pee Wee did was wrong, I should uh, yeah. be on death row. And the other somebody else, I forget, another comedian said about masturbation. Because, you know, it's funny when you have to masturbate. I have to ask my hands, was it good for me too? <laughs> <laughs> or 68. She does you, you owe her one. Yeah. Instead of 69. Now, the two comedians I was really hoping that Jerry would do an episode with, Jerry Seinfeld, is Gilbert Godfrey and Jason Alexander, who played George Costanza. But he did not Shall do... Shall we tell her about shrinkage? He didn't do an episode with them. He did it with Kramer, with Michael Richards, and, and, and Sue, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Julia Louis -Dreyfus, and, and Larry David, who, who did a great... Uh, George Steinberg. And, and Larry David, who's just like... Um, uh, uh, Sanders, the politician, Bernie Sanders. Yeah, he was great on Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Yeah. No, but he's he was the voice. Yeah, I, th I think uh, uh, Alec Baldwin is great. From oh, oh, Trump gets so pissed at Alec Baldwin. Oh, he, like he, but he's so great. He's perfect. He he did um um what he did was he had a wig on a gray wig and you you never saw the front you saw the back of him and he was George Steinbrenner well you know Georgie Georgie come into my office blah, blah, blah. let me tell you something when I was a young lad blah, 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 blah. and then <laughs> Costanza would turn around and walk out there and, the, the, and then he did um a Tyson chicken and he was bobbing his head like 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 like. Uh, no, it wasn't Tyson's chicken. He couldn't use the name Tyson's. He, he used another word. Oh, my God. That was so good, though. Yeah. 
But that was Larry David that did that. He was George Steinbrenner? Yeah. With a wig on. Well, that was him. I didn't know that was that Larry was, David. That was Larry David. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, see, you only saw the back of him. Mm -hmm. You know, and, uh, oh, and when Kramer went to get the calzones because Costanza introduced him to the great flavor of calzone, and he's like, um, Georgie, I gotta have calzone. No, I gotta have calzone for lunch. Speaking of which, don't you love calzones? Rambolis. When they're made right, it's yeah. Rambolis. You know who makes them good? That uh, um, it's not Bella Napoli anymore. It's now uh, Corleone Pizza. Oh, Corleone. By good. by dancing, by they're good. They make a good bake. Make sure you get the baked calzone. Well, there's a new pizza place about a month or two old called the Bella. Also. Yeah. Now a Stromboli doesn't have ricotta cheese and ham. It has pe um, usually pepperoni. No, no, it depends Mo if you want. Now, it's a mozzarella. Of, a lot of them do have mozzarella. Some do have ricotta. Yes, yeah. they do. I know in Richwood. Yeah. Uh, Maybe it's just shaped differently though. Yeah, they used to have ricotta, and boy, it was so good. Ricotta and ham. But, but the key, the key is, uh, uh, the key word is stuff the thing. Yeah. Don't be stingy no, and give me all bread. Pretty, they're pretty, they're, well, it's not bread, it's dough, but they were pretty big. They were like, I said, man, this is good. Oh, I love it when they stuff it. They used to, when it was Bella Napoli's in Hasbro Kites, they used to have a baked, a baked calzone that was as big as a pizza box. I saw a vest, I thought that was Joe for a second. And anyway. I did. I realized it. No, he's too, too. He's too he heavy to be. Was he expecting snow? Yeah, and he, he hasn't. He hasn't really presented a greeting to us in a long time. Do I care? No. I told him he was saying goodbye. To him. I gave up on him when I said good night, Joseph. A man, a man who does seminars without accepting any money cannot be too. No self-respect. Self-esteem is... That's why you're booked all the time. Why not take a chance on you? It's not costing us anything. If, if a guy is getting $1,000 a head teaching the kettlebell, which is like a bowling ball with a handle, just to swing this freaking bowling ball with that cast iron ball, then a man of science should be able to get... And he was so excited once he got $50 a few weeks. Of... What do you mean, for, for the whole thing? That's it. Not fifty dollars a head. Fifty dollars for the whole thing. Right? Fifty dollars. If he gets fifty dollars for the whole thing, you should get like friggin' five thousand dollars. Nothing for the whole thing. You know that he has. I got piss on the back. Rick Brown would, would love to have you do voiceovers for his organization. Oh, these guys. Are, don't ever show yourself for free. Yeah. If you want, if you don't want to pay me. Well, yeah. No, Rick, Rick actually wants to hire you, and he goes all over the world. Yeah. All right. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.